that makes sense. Um, again, there's, you know, it, it, it took sort of a lot of, like, trial and error and, you know, getting used to and things like that to, uh, uh, to figure some of this stuff out, but, um, sort of that has been, that, that's sort of been what we figured out, uh, in this category over the last, uh, you know, year or two, however long I've been running it. Well, way too long is, I guess, is the real answer. This, this, this. So again, always very important to try to have the... F and the, the zombie's speed also varies by a teeny little bit. Um, you know, the imps are always reliably faster. But, for example, this this guy is actually moving a little bit faster than I would have expected. Um, and each zombie has a fixed number of hit points as well. So it's important to sort of try to very quickly assess, you know, which zombies are going to... Uh, you know, how much hit points, you know, how many hit points the zombies have. And therefore, sort of what you need to... Um, uh, you know, to be able to, uh, to, to rush through. Actually, I should have just used an imp here. That would have been a little bit smarter. Wasted a little bit of sun here, but again, it'll, it'll end up helping a little bit. Maybe could have done, gotten the same outcome for about 75 sun cheaper. Again, not game-breaking, but there we go. Oh yeah, childhood's all about learning the algorithms. Yep, well, I've joked about it before, but I was 23 when this game... Oh, okay, so here it is. Here it is. So again, this is the god of all waves for speedrunning or anything else. You can basically put either a football or a ladder, depending on how many uh, scarities it has, and look at how much sun we're going to net. We're going to have over 2,000 sun at the end of this level. So, and it's all RNG. Yep, by far the best wave. By far the best wave. So again, really, you know, part of this speedrun is just hoping that we get as many of these pos as possible as soon as possible. You can't get 10 in a row. The first wave is guaranteed. There's only five of the different layouts that the first wave can be. But um, any of the waves... Wow, look at this. Two in a row. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we just got serious here, ladies and gents. We just got serious. We just got real serious here. This attempt now has gone from like, yeah, yeah, just casual, just kind of fooling around, to like, okay, time to put on your, uh, your serious pants, because this is really good. So you could get nine in a row, correct, correct. Yep, the probability of that is about one in ten to the... one in ten to the eleventh power. So, what is that? In the trillions, I think? So again, not, you know, it would it would certainly never happen. Oh, okay, uh, actually, this could be okay. This could be okay. I go like this, and I go like this, and this, and this, and this. Hmm, a little worried about this guy dying. Ooh, he survived with one hit point. Yep, so I wasted 50 sun there, but we're in a really, really good spot. The fact that I got two scaredy wayouts means that this probably has a 1 in 10 chance of finishing. I don't know if it's going to PB, but it has a very good chance now of finishing. There's a lot of time to save in these next two waves. Okay, this is another very interesting layout that we have here. This way out is actually semi-fast, but it's very expensive. You can see I had to use a lot of firepower in each of the rows. I'm actually worried about this guy potentially losing his ladder. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance. It's going to cost 75 sun. And, oh, wow. I actually, it was worth it. It was worth it. Yep, this really slowed down right here. Oh, yeah. Maybe only saved a second or so, but yep. This is a really good attempt, people. This is really good. Yep. We are in a great... Great position. This was this was another good wave. This was another really good wave. If I get a scaredy or a starfruit layout in the next two waves, we're going to get world record, and it's going to be a really, 
really strong world record too. But if these last three waves are bad, it's gonna be right down to the wire. It's gonna be, okay, this wasn't actually too bad. I actually kind of like this wave because it, um... Again, if I don't get buttered to death, it should be okay. Again, I wanted to put a little bit more in this top row. Yep, should he, should have potentially gone with the uh, the vaulter, but this is actually a little bit cheaper. So, ooh, this is going to be so close. Again, a scaredy or a starfruit wave would do it. Otherwise, sun is going to be very. It's going to be right down. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, is this it? Is this it? This might be it. It's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. The sub the sub seven is a possibility. This is unbelievable. 12,000 resets. 12,000 resets it's taken us. It's not guaranteed. I only have 975 sun. That's not a lot. That's not a lot, but it's good. Holy crap. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go like this, and this, and this, and this. And this. It's gonna be a little bit slow, but I think I think I can do it. I think I got it. Uh shoot. Um I think I think I got it. I think I got it. Come on, baby. That was really dumb. I should have put a ladder zombie there. I could have been a little bit faster and I could have put an imp here. World record. It's happening. Finally. And I got a security wave after that. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Unbelievable. 12,031 resets. And that's not an exaggeration. Like, there might have been some times where, like, I accidentally hit the reset button. But this is legit, like, 12,000 resets. Unbelievable.